Monday, the day that scientists have discovered is officially the most depressing day of the year for us Brits. Ages away from Christmas, weeks till payday, and we've already broken our New Year's resolutions. We're fat and we've got no money, basically. All we need is Jedward to release their album and we'll all top ourselves. That's how depressing it is. But my next guest, he's going to try and alleviate some of those January blues and give us a few reasons to be happy. He won the biggest comedy award at last year's Edinburgh Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Russell Kay! backstage when he said I've won an award. We've got to be the only country in the world where when someone says you've won something, it instantly can turn a whole room of people against you. <laughs> won an award, has he? Don't laugh at the Lego head prick. Right? <laughs> about. We've actually created a day to celebrate depression. <laughs> well, that's a classic example. He doesn't actually trust people that are too happy. We don't in this country. Went to Australia, came back, didn't like it. Everyone was in a good mood the whole time. To call me your mate. I'm not your mate. Don't know your mate. Don't know you. <laughs> Very suspicious. Very effing suspicious. Right? <laughs> uh, but, but I think British men are the worst. We really enjoy negativity. My theory is we use it all up between the ages of 16 to 21. The British male, too happy between 16 and 21. I want to stick my willy in everything. I love Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> how random. Oh my god, how random. Ollie's at the same uni. Right? <laughs> There's words. We're so miserable. Men speak less in this country. My dad's answer phone is just his name, for Christ's sake. My dad's mobile answer phone is just his name. Here's the computer lady from Orange. She does all the hard work, checks you're ready to leave your message, comes in. My dad comes in, does just his name and sods off again. <laughs> One of the saddest things you'll ever hear. I'm sorry, but Dave is not available. <laughs> yeah. My nan. I swear my nan would be dead if she didn't have her misery and rage to carry her through life. <laughs> she doesn't even use her wheelchair. She just pulls herself along the street by rage alone like <laughs> life, but I need biscuits. <laughs> but be honest, but I'm mocking it now and all of us are laughing going, yeah, we are a bit miserable, maybe it is a bit wrong, but who would choose it? We wouldn't choose happy, clappy people. If we find it quite annoying, it makes some people quite violent. Listen to the uh, average American describe their perfect person. You've got to meet my best friend, Bernie. He is the best guy in the whole world. He's good looking, great wife, great kids. It's not about that. He's just a good soul. If you've got problems, there's Bernie with a tear on his cheek and a cake for you, man. Right? <laughs> Most normal British people are now thinking, Bernie, what a prick. Right? <laughs> listen to a, Listen to a Brit describe his favourite friend. Who's your favourite friend? Keith, no question. Absolutely love Keith, yeah? Bit of a nightmare when he's on the gear. Not gonna lie to you, yeah? <laughs> left his wife, left a couple of kids. He'll slash her in the face if you cross him. Diamond geezer, though. Diamond geezer. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it's the same... It's the same reason. I don't know if you saw that, but I nearly stumbled on that step when I came on stage. This is the only country in the world where if I had stumbled on that step, broke my ankle and pitched forward, it'll be a matter of minutes, hours at the most, till everyone in this audience thought, I know it's wrong, because he's crippled and he'll never perform again. <laughs> but that is the funniest shitting thing. <laughs> So that's us, ladies and gentlemen. Blue Monday, let's celebrate. We might be a miserable nation, but how about this? We are a paradox. We're a nation of people who, yes, while we're moaning, are in a complete state of bliss while we're doing it. We're all Britannia. Thank you very much. Good. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. 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 20%. I don't know what it means, but it doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> well, at least we've got Super 1 on Prime Ministers. I don't really know what's going on there. I'm still not sure what's happening. Do you think Nick Clegg lives there? Do you think the sofa bed is like a so <laughs> Do you think there's a sofa bed in the living room? Do you think... I like to imagine they top and tail, to be honest. <laughs> Night, David. Good night, Cleggy. That'd be nice. <laughs> Apparently, I read this week that they regularly text each other. This is how good pals they are. I'm thinking, what do they text to each other? Just shut another hospital, LOL. <laughs> it's the first show of the series. It seems only polite, maybe, to get to know each other a little bit. So, if anyone's got a question they want to ask at some point, be nice. Let's go you, second row. What's your name? Mag. Okay, Max, go on. Uh, uh, I just wondered what you thought the difference between Southerners and us Northerners is. Us Northerners? What? You, you're, a, you're a bit far away from home, aren't you? Wigan. Wigan? How far have I got to go to get away from you? <laughs> uh, the difference 
seen Southerners and Northerners. Well, we, I think often they say that we're friendlier than North, don't we? We're friendlier. Although we also have the more crime. So I don't know how <laughs> that evens itself out, really. <laughs> I was in the city centre of Manchester a while back and there was a, a sign up that said, uh, Violent attack here Thursday 9 pm, can you help? I thought, well, I'll check my diary, like, you know that? <laughs> behind you there. Have you got a question? If you were Prime Minister, what would your first action be? Which Prime Minister am I? Uh, the proper one, or am I Nick Clegg? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be Nick Clegg. I want to be the proper one. Well, I'm all about the environment, to be honest, so I'd, um, I'd make sure everyone um, had an electric car. Um, what do you call it? Skeletrics. Um, <laughs> right, anyone else got one? Uh, let's go to the, the back row there, the, the fellow with the... So you were going to say, no air, I felt arse then, so I thought, the shit jumper, the shit jumper, let's say that. The fellow there in the grey, what's your, what's your name? Gareth. Go on, Gareth, go on, what's your question? If you could have one superpower, what yeah. would you choose to have? If I can choose, I'd go invisibility every time, though every bloke, invisibility, I don't have to think about it. I'm surprised in Harry Potter, you know when they've got that invisibility cloak, in a school like that, none of them misuse it. <laughs> Surely at some point they popped in to see Hermione's Gryffindor, you know what I mean?
watched her, you're dancing. I've watched you dancing. And it seems to me the difference between your dancing and my dancing is just confidence. That's all it is. <laughs> We've got more music and comedy coming up after the break.